Hello. Just getting the playlist on. One moment. As always, let me know if the sound's good, if the music is chill. If you can hear the outside noises. No, you can't. <laughs> it's just very warm here. So, what's up, everyone? Hello. Hi, guys. Hey. Hello. How's everyone's day been? How's everyone's week been? How's everyone's past few months been? It's been like, what, 84 years since I've been here on Twitch. So, thanks for joining me. <laughs> Hi, Turtle Lily. Thank you so much. Hi, Tori. Exol. I hope you're having a wonderful day, too. Hey, Luana. Hello. Zoopleek. Hello. Siwi Kiwi. First time catching one of your streams live. Oh, welcome. <laughs> and Noob Sephora as well. Awesome. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Tori Crochet. I'm crocheting a little dino right now. That sounds so cute. Adorable. And now I want to crochet a little a dino. Started crocheting because of you. Aw, that's so sweet. <laughs> I started cro crocheting because of Devin. So, unintentionally, you started doing crochet because of Devin. Um, yeah. Missed your live streams. Thanks. I missed like streaming and hanging out with you guys too, Alanis, the, gi the giraffe. I've just been so busy the past few months. It's just been every time it gets to Friday, I'm just like too tired <laughs> or I just forget. Guess I'll go get ice cream later, Sim Sim. <laughs> you can go get ice cream now and then you can come back and I'll be like mid mid drawing. So then you can enjoy both. How about that? Lads, we're going to be doing more marker drawings today because I've been on a marker kick and last night I had the crazy... You know, I was just like, I'm feeling crazy. I'm gonna like do a new swatch sheet for my markers, um, which looks really sexy and professional. And um, I had like a few new markers that I got from Ohuhu that I didn't have on my swatch page. So I was like, I need to make a new one. AKA I'm gonna reorganize the rainbow. We love to see it. So yeah, we're gonna be doing some, uh, some of that today. I also asked you guys on Instagram, as you may know, who we we're going to be drawing today. And you guys see who it is in a bit. I've already decided and done the sketches for them. Can you guess who, I'm, who we're drawing today? I'll see if anyone can guess. So it's three, three anime boys, obviously, as it says in the, in the title. So let's see if anyone can guess who we're drawing. Turtle Lily, I'm impatiently waiting for your Archer and Olive bundle. You're so sweet. Thank you so much for getting one. I'm really excited for you to get it too. My marker order came today. <gasps> That's exciting. Noob Sephora. Dish. Let's see the details. Which ones? How big? What's up? <laughs> I'm getting back into art recently. That's lovely, Tori Crochet. Sukuna. No, Turtle Lily. I am not drawing Sukuna again. Okay. I just posted my six fan arts um, of Sukuna's one yesterday. So if you want to see my drawing of Sukuna, it's up on my, on my Instagram. But yeah, no, I'm not drawing Sukuna again. I already succumbed to you, your guys's like pleads and demands that I should draw Sukuna. So I've done it once. <laughs> Sim Sim said Kamayama to Kagayama Tobio. No, close though. Um, Matt Summers Maid says, Hi, so glad to catch your stream today. Hi, Matt Summers Maid. Thanks for joining. Um, the last brain cell asked, What anime are you currently watching? By the way, very happy to see you. I am currently, oh god, the most recent anime I watched was Beastars, so I'm not even going to talk about it. Um, <laughs> but I've been really enjoying re watching Jujutsu Kaisen for the 57th time. <laughs> so. Yeah, what else have I been watching new? I watched Given with Devon, which is really lovely too. Uh, I enjoyed that. And I really want to watch Bongo Stray Dogs. So those aren't ones that I'm currently watching, but I definitely want to. <laughs> Itadori? No. No Itadori today, unfortunately. I think we drew him last time. Also, not drawing the Skate Boys, not this time. I feel like I draw them so much. So these are characters that I haven't drawn that much of. 
uh, that I still love. I'm sorry, did she just say she has a swatch page? Yeah, I make swatch pages for all of my markers because it's the most satisfying process of all time. And it's also really handy to see what the colors actually look like on paper as opposed to like the printed versions. <clears throat> Hinata, also no, but very close. I just drew Hinata the other day. Oh my god, Beastars. Yeah, and I read a bit of the manga as well, but it's hard to look at, so I, I didn't really finish it, but it's, yeah, crazy. Just gonna keep guessing Haikyuu Boy because I started watching it because you loved it so much, so thanks for that. Yes, Sim Sim! Good taste. I'm so happy that you got into Haikyuu. But yes, we are drawing a Haikyuu Boy today. Um, so I'll, I'll give that to you. We're drawing a Haikyuu Boy today. Hi, Piper. When I tell you I weeped like a baby when I watched Given. Oh my god, Tina's here, by the way. Hi, Tina. I'm a wonder art. Hi, girl. <laughs> I, listen, Devin and I binged it in like one weekend and we were in tears. Like, I don't think you, I, I understand you because we were the same. <laughs> we cried so much. <laughs> it's so sad. Um, but yeah, then we watched the, um, the OVA, like, extra movies thingy that came out afterwards and that was sad too and I was just like give us a break but yeah cried like an absolute baby it was crazy um everyone say hi to Tina Tina's in the chat and she's an absolute babe um I started watching Haiki because of you honestly when is like when am I gonna get like commission out of you know telling people to watch Haiki because like let's let's go <laughs> I want to watch Promise Neverland. I definitely recommend Turtle Lily, the first season, and the second season that just came out pretty good. The manga, unfortunately, and the story are really bad. So, like, they really wrapped it up very quickly in season two because the manga got wrapped up. Uh, anyway, it ends, like, really badly. It's kind of shit at the end, but I really, really recommend The Promise Neverland. It's very good. Okay, you know what? I need, I'm, I'm rambling. Let's get on to drawing and I'll keep talking. Um, and also show you who we're actually drawing today. So, we're drawing Gyu, Tomioka. Let's go! <laughs> my mans! Yes, Tina! <laughs> Gotta draw my mans. Um, I'd like a few people recommended it today, or, you know, requested it today, and I was like, I had to. I, I just, obviously. He's my favorite from Demon Slayer. And then we got, um, little Mr. Smiley Boy. Yamaguchi. So that's the Haikyuu boy that we're doing today, guys. He's a sunshine boy. And then I thought I'd like fill in this little area over here. So we're just drawing a very little um, <laughs> Mikey from Tokyo Revengers because I really love this screen cap. Um, so I'm just gonna like redraw that because I think it's adorable. <laughs> um, so yeah, should we get into it? We're gonna go into it. Let's just just Let's go. Let's, let's absolutely go. Um, who's excited? I'm excited. I'm always excited to draw my man's um, you. Like, gosh. He's just everything. I'm going to get a little page here to swatch my colors. Um, I would use like the other page to swatch colors, but I've got like sketches I don't want to ruin on the other page. So, whoops. Um... Hi, Piper. Just spoke to you about this today. So happy to see you on here. I'm in state quarantine, so it's it right now. So this is real nice. Oh, sorry to hear that, Nicole. But yeah, um, thank you for joining. <laughs> I hope I can entertain you a little bit in your quarantine. What's the time there? It's almost midnight. Ooh, you should go to bed. Um, yeah, it's uh, quarter past six here now, and I'm gonna start swatching some colors for you over here. Um, the sun's kind of like, it needs to work itself out at the moment. Okay, let's go. So, we obviously need his classic colors for his kimono. Or not kimono, his sari. I always feel weird if I'm saying things, like, wrong. But, yeah, his sari has the cutest pattern. I'm actually planning on doing, like, a, maybe a crochet, sour, like, cardigan with, uh, use, you know, pattern I don't know if I'm, I'll be able to but I definitely want to give it a go because it's very cool and I want to get the colors super right on this so I'm just gonna 
yeah let's go I'm just gonna look up reference for the colors there we go so we need a light green and a dark green I'm gonna go GUI 2 and hmm BG1 yeah BG1 yeah BG1 we love BG1 right guys actually 51 is actually nicer <laughs> And then the little yellow and um, orange for his thing. I'm sorry guys, but you know, every time I do like marker streams, half the time is just me looking for the colors in the pack. And before anyone asks, I'm using my Ohua Hua Ohu Hu markers. Um, they're my faves and I use them all the time. So the, that's what I'm using. Oh, where are six? Where are six? Where are six? See what I mean? Like I know what color I need, but I'm really bad at like picking them out from this big set, got it. And then uh, 24, maybe 24? Nah, why are two? Picking colors is like my favorite part of drawing with markers. It is just like, I don't know what, what the hoarder part of me inside loves about just having a big collection of markers to pick out from, but I, I, I vibe, I vibe. And we're gonna go with <clears throat> I'm just picking out all the colors that I'll need so I don't have to like stop intermittently so hold on please give me a moment why didn't I swatch this one see what I mean this is why I have to keep like redoing these things because I have one of my favorite markers of all time isn't even swatched on here so <laughs> let's go 97 why not and my other favorite color, yeah. And then of course something for his, the color for his hair, WG8 to be fine. Yep. Cool, I think I've got all the colors I need so far. So let's go. Um, all right, since the sun's deciding to go down, I need to rearrange this so the lighting is impeccable for you guys. So here's what colors that I'm gonna be using. I'm going to be using this green with this green. Um, so his sorry has like this. I'm just going to do a reference for myself so I don't like mess it up. <laughs> so he's got that and then that and that and then that and that. And those go in a diagonal color, and then that. And then that. Cool. Got it. Pattern decided. So that's for a sorry. Um, and. Oh god, sorry. Completely forgot there was a chat. I haven't done this in a while. Um, will you be posting to YouTube? I won't be able to say the whole time. Yes, of course. I'll be posting this VOD on YouTube um, in a few days slash weeks, depending on my YouTube schedule stream thing. So don't worry. Um, you'll be able to rewatch it. Uh, I was nervous and stressed the entire day, so this is a great way to relax before the weekend. Aw, I'm glad. I hope you get to relax a little bit today. See what I mean? The sun's back. And now I'm going to put my markers back on this side so that the sun doesn't blind you all. I don't want you guys to have bad eyesight. So let's go. See there? There's a bit nicer. Um, oh yeah, people are asking to do a crochet stream. I can definitely do a crochet stream at some point. That would be really fun, right? Um, I'm currently like almost almost done with a sweater my first sweater i'm almost done uh finishing that i'm like literally on the last bit of the bottom rib ribbing bit so my next garment i guess i could do on stream that'd be nice or at least start it on stream and the sun's gone again of course <laughs> Um, let me just put this on. Oh yeah, this is the back, the, there we go. I just don't want it to keep focusing on my hand and not the drawing. There we go. I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. Um, the sunshine's really beautiful. All right, I'll keep it in then. 
<laughs> the markers can go back over here. Um, hi everyone. Hi all the new people. Yeah. And thank you to everyone saying that they missed my. Shh. Thank you to everyone saying that they missed my streams. I really missed streaming as well. I've just been like, it's just been completely out of my head. I've just had a very busy few months. <laughs> so it's, uh, just has, I just haven't like remembered to go go on, on Twitch on, on the lives. But every time I do a live stream, I remember how fun it is. So I might be doing more of these. Um, oh my God, how could I forget? I need beautiful blue colors for his beautiful blue eyes. Um... Because if you, Tomioka, my fire boy, not my fire boy, my water boy. Thank you for going live. I had a bad day, so thank you. No, thank you for joining, Queen Lucy. I hope your day gets a little bit better. So simple, but so effective. Um, I'm gonna go straight in with a black for his, um, uh, demon core uniform, um, it's so relaxing to just color in with markers, I just, just shut off and it's so nice. It's just coloring in, isn't it? Coloring in within the lines. Okay. Um, I really want to try alcohol-based markers. You definitely should, Carly. They're very fun. Um, I really recommend these, the ones that I'm using, the Ohu Ohu markers. They're very affordable, and they have a huge range of colors. And, I yeah, I think they're very, very good. And I first heard about them from Drawing with Waffles, Rin, um... Yeah, she, she's been using them for years now. And I was always like, oh my god, those look really nice and affordable. And I don't have to give a leg for each pen. So I tried them out myself. And now they are lovely supporters of the channel. And we love to see it. Who are your favorite characters in Demon Slayer, guys? I uh, want to know. I'm current. Oh, also, no spoilers allowed in the chat. I'm. I haven't finished the manga yet. I am currently. I'm almost finished, but not yet. And obviously, we don't know who's who's seen what, so no spoilers. But who are your favorite characters from Demon Slayer? Love Rin, absolutely. Rin's an absolute queen. You're going dressed as Nezuko for Halloween. That's so cool. I'd love to see that. Where did the pen cap go? Oh. <laughs> love Nezuko. Yes, absolutely. Nezuko's baby. I, I love her. And for everyone watching, um, I don't know if you've seen, but I'm doing like a six fan arts at the moment. And I posted my first one yesterday, which was Sukuna. And Nezuko is the next one up, so I've actually already drawn Nezuko, and I'm very excited for you guys to see Nezuko drawn in my style. It was, she's so cute. I love her a lot. And she's so badass, honestly. Will you be doing Inktober? Uh, no, I'm not really doing, not the, you know, traditional Inktober, because I think Inktober was, like, hella cancelled last year, wasn't it? Like... I don't know. I, I don't really like to, the art community drama, so I don't actually know what happened there. But I'm doing a... I think I'm doing a Tina's one. I'm a wonder. Um, yeah, I think I'm doing her prompt list because it just... it I just really caught my eye. And it's all about, like, um, pet familiars, if I'm not wrong. Or maybe that was a different one that I saw. No, it, it was just, like, a really nice one. And it's it, it's not, like, a 30-day one. Yay, oh my god, yes. So I'm doing Tina's, basically. Um, 
it wasn't like a 30 day one so it's like less commitment and I definitely wouldn't be able to do all 30 days this year I'm just very busy so it's a very nice um intermediate you know kind of compromise to do a smaller prompt list which you familiar is yeah okay so I'm not crazy so yeah I really I, I just thought the idea was so cute and such an, a different take on like doing witchy stuff which everyone does every year but witchy familiars you know there's going to be some very cute drawings done for those random fact um i've set a goal for myself to 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 I think it's start a sketchbook and finish it before the new year. Do you ever have mini goals like that for yourself? Definitely. I love setting goals for myself. I love doing them like for not just the beginning of the year, but you know, goals for like whenever I start a new sketchbook, I like to be like for this sketchbook, I'd like to practice more on this and this and try a bit of this. It's very healthy to set goals for yourself and like realistic goals, obviously. But yeah, it's good to challenge yourself and keep track of your achievements like that so I believe in you and don't forget to not be hard on yourself if you can't actually achieve that goal because it's fine you'll just try it again next time look at this absolute specimen of a man look at him Gosh, I love him. Oh yeah, SimSim Sim 9998 yeah, is also joining <laughs> the witchy familiar prompt list. Awesome stuff. Um, oh yeah, I was reading people's favorite characters. Tanjiro is actually so cute though. Tanjiro is the best boy. We love Tanjiro. Good boy. I, I made Devin watch Demon Slayer recently because they never seen it. And finally I made them binge it. And I think Devin just like cried a bunch over how much they love Tanjiro. Which is absolutely valid. He's a good boy. And he respects women. Love to see it. Um, yeah, so definitely have a Tanjiro stan up in this house. My favorite is Gyu. Hmm. Taste. Not to say that I love Gyu, but I also love Gyu. <laughs> I mean, look at me. Um, did, did I get the right color out? Yes. I also like really want to do a sari with this pattern. Oh, sorry, gosh, I want to do a cardigan with this sari pattern on it because it's got like one of my favorite colors, which is this like Bordeaux magenta color, which is gorgeous. So it would just like tick all the boxes for me to make a jacket inspired by the man, Gyu Tomioka himself, and just has like all these beautiful like greens and Bordeaux and stuff like that involved. I just like, you know. Your streams have such a specific vibe. It's just this safe and comforting space. I love it. Aw, thank you, lizard with tea. So cute. Um, Carol Lily asked, what sketchbook am I using? I'm using my uh, one of my Archer and Olive uh, A5 sketchbooks that I started in May of this year. Yeah, it's an A5, um, ooh, A5 sketchbook, 160 GSM. Perfecto. And I'm just going to have a drink real quick. I'm having some lemonade. I don't know why I do this a lot on stream. I just feel like I need to fill in the silence. I'm so sorry, guys. Give us my favorite. Feral Boy Inosuke is a close second. Tina Taste! Oh my gosh, yes. Inosuke was 
my, in my first watch of Demon Slayer, Inosuke was definitely my favorite, just because he gives me very big Bakugo vibes, um, and he has such a beautiful, like, redemption mark, you know, like, I don't know, he just shows, he has, a, he has the most growth, I think, on the show. Um, but then on my second watch, I was just like, this Gyu Tomioka fella is kind of like it, though. <laughs> Feral boy Nosuke. He's just an excited, a very excited feral puppy. And I love his backstory so much. It's, oh god, it's so funny in the manga. Um, I started my hair at Academia because of you. Oh my gosh! Also taste. Lizard with tea. I hope you're enjoying it. Obviously you are. It's great. Frig show. I feel so old. Do we say taste when we agree with something? I mean, I do. I don't know if it's a youth thing. Definitely not a youth thing, because I, I feel old these days. But I'm just saying, like, oh my god, you've got taste. Because I agree with your taste. I guess that's what it means. Hi, Pipa. So happy to catch you live. Hi, Sugar Coco. Thanks for joining. Um, right. Back into it. Let's go. I'm gonna start laying down these colors. I'm stressed that I'll get it wrong, but I've got my little reference here for what Sari looks like, so hopefully I don't get it too wrong. Um, it was kind of like a, a big puzzle trying to figure out this um, pattern earlier, because like it's it's confusing enough on its own, but then on you know fabric, moving fabric on a body, I was just like, oh my god, this is this is my artistic challenge. For the week is figuring this pattern out on his body but I think I did it uh... okay and then that so then this uh, and then am I doing this right I think so yeah Let's go! Absolutely killing it. Um, and then this is this. Okay, cool. Sorry, I'm gonna be saying a lot of gibberish just trying to understand my scribbles from earlier. Inosuke and Bakugo are like long <laughs> lost brethren. Absolutely. Can you imagine? Bakugo and Inosuke meeting in some sort of AU. I don't know how, like, they would compute, but I just know that I would pay good money to see that happen. <laughs> it's just, it sounds like probably one of the funniest things that could probably happen, honestly. Oh, am I missing one? I am. This one. It'd go like this. Yes. Yeah, it'd be so funny if, um, Inosuke and Bakugo just, like, stared at each other off. I think that'd be peak comedy. <laughs> I don't know whose brain would break first and who would, who, or who, like, who would strike first in an attempt to fight. I just know that it would be good. Okay, so then this goes like this. Um, uh, uh. Right, so that goes like that, and that goes like this. I am telling you, this pattern thing that I've done has uh, is breaking my brain. <laughs> it's absolutely breaking my brain, but I'm gonna get there. It's just the first one's the hardest one, but then I'll figure it out. We got this, fam. Okay, I think I've done it, and now I, I think I can figure out the rest. Um, so then we got the dark green. Are you supposed to hate or like Bakugo? Because I'm confused. He's a bully, but I find him super funny. Here's the thing, Lizard Witty. I remember you saying you're only in season two. Um, you're you're meant to like sort of hate Bakugo for the first few seasons, but he has one of the biggest character arcs and biggest like character growths of the entire show so you do end up you grow to love him um especially in the manga at this point it's just like it's great but yeah just just keep watching and i'll and you'll see what we mean 
His clothes are so hard to draw, aren't they? Honestly, just me when I was in the sketch phase for this, I was just trying to like not lose my sanity trying to figure out the pattern on his clothing. But I think that's part of his charm. He's a little fashion king. You know, he's I think his his sari and what's her face, the lust pillar. They have the most pretty saris of all of the pillars, I think. They're very cute. So that goes there. And then that goes there. Oh, have I seen my phone in a while? No, I don't know where my phone's going. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's yellow. That's that. <sighs> Okay, I can do this, I can do this. <laughs> What's Okay, let's go here. Anything that any wide area that I've missed, I'm just gonna fill it in with like the the pale yellow and, and hope for the best. <laughs> um like that. Yeah, and then that one's that, and then this one. And then this one here, yes, okay. Can you tell that this is actually stressing me out? <laughs> uh, right, this one too. I wanted it to work with the clothes fold because I'm an overachiever and I actually wanted it to look nice. So I'm, I, I know that I made it harder for myself, but I'm living with it now. Um, I love how you draw. Thank you. Anyone, any anytime anyone mentions epic character arcs, all I can think about is Zuka from Avatar. Yes, big character arc energy. That's kind of like, for Lizard with T who's asking, it's kind of like Zuko. Um, oh wait, I just realized Lizard with T hasn't watched Avatar. You definitely should watch Avatar, hundred um, percent. Very, very worth it. Honestly, it's and it's got very good uh, rewatch value. Like I've rewatched it a million times, and it's always good. Oh, Simpsons going to start planning for Tina's prompt list. Cute. I really should start um, planning my <laughs> my it, quote unquote inktober um, drawings. I feel like I always blindsight myself every single year. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing it this year. I'm 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 prepping. Um, it's gonna be fine. I know what I'm doing. And then every single year, I I keep forgetting until it's like the day before. And I freak out <laughs> every single time. So I actually really should do some prep this year so I don't blindside myself. Because I'm going to go home for the beginning of October to see my family. Um, most of my family's birthdays are in October, so I'm going to try and, you know, catch most of them. Um, so I, uh, th th again, this is why October and doing ink, quote unquote Inktober prompt is always so annoying for me because it's always such a busy month for me. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely give it a try since it's a smaller, um, prompt list, you know? Yeah. What's Tina's at so I can find the prompt list? It's I'm a wonder on Instagram or I'm a wonder art on Instagram. Yeah, there we go. I'm a wonder. Thanks guys. Go support Tina. Tina's art is amazing. Um, I need a little fine liner to do the details. Woo! Gosh. <laughs> you're too kind. No, Tina, you're too kind. Okay. Now to add the little details. I think I kind of killed it. Did I kill it? Maybe. Um, I just realized I forgot to add the... This. There you go. This is actually quite relaxing once once I once you like figure out the pattern. Must say, it is quite relaxing. It also just feels really rewarding that I got it right. <laughs> and then 
this is, imagine this is where I find out that I've done it completely wrong. I think I'd probably cry. Uh, yeah, this too. And here we go. Yes, bing, bang, bong. What pencils are you using? I'm not actually using pencils, I'm using pens. I'm using my oh hoo hoo art markers. And then I'm using our, my Arteza 0.4 fine liners for like any little details. This is kind of all the, the materials that I use whenever I do marker drawings and illustrations. My favorite combo. Um, much like the fan arts that I'm posting at the moment, I decided to do them traditionally this time around. I feel like I always do with them in digital, so I thought I'd go a bit crazy. But yeah, that's what I've used for all of those as well. I can never just watch one anime at once. I'm on, on like six animes and two cartoons right now. That's inc incredibly valid. I do the same. That's like with me and books. I'm really bad at just like sticking to one book at a time. I've always got like at least three in rotation. <laughs> and I just started a new one today as well. So I just, I like to have variety when I sit down to, to entertain myself. So that's very valid. What am I reading? Um, I just started Sleep by C.L. Taylor today. So far, it's really good. Um, and yesterday, I finished a book that I've been reading for months called The Harry Kaber Case by Joel Dicker. And that was from uh, was a recommendation from my mom. Uh, and I read like half of it in Portuguese because I read it while I was at home. And then I listened to the other half of it in English on Audible. So it was kind of weird, you know, <laughs> reading it into different languages. But yeah, I finally finished it. It's super thick and juicy and long, but it is I incredible. It's amazing. There's like a million twists and yeah, I highly recommend it if you are, a, if you like reading, if you don't mind a very long book. <laughs> yeah, I highly recommend it. And what else am I reading at the moment? I'm also finishing a book called Confessions of a Psychopath, which I have kind of been like slowly reading over the past year. It's not as gripping as what I usually read. I prefer like reading, you know, thriller or like, um, uh, what's it called? Like murder mysteries, crime stuff. So that one's a little bit more nonfiction and um, that's why it's taking me a bit longer to read it. But yeah, it's also very good. My little sister lent me her, her copy, so I should probably finish it so I can give it back to her. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, the other day, I, I when I finished the Harry Cabaret case, I just kind of like bought a whole new selection of books because I was like, I need new books now. So that was really fun. I love buying books. And they all arrived and I'm very excited. <laughs> Um, sorry if the camera keeps shaking. It's just because I'm trying to get to the fine liners. <laughs> so the lighting's kind of getting worse now because the sun's gone away. So I'm just gonna. There we go. It's a bit better. As you can tell, I haven't lost touch at all with uh, streaming on Twitch. I'm an absolute professional. Um, can you please say the book's name? Which one? Um, I mentioned Sleep by C.L. Taylor, which is the one I started today. And then the Harry Kaber case. If you just search up um, Joel Dicker, that's probably one of his most famous books. Um, and it's very good. But, um, 
All right, I'm going to start doing the shading on this face. The hesitation is real. Where is my other pen? Ah, found it. Okay. I've now started to try and color more professionally, if you will, with colored pencils. Any tips for beginners? I have a whole video on my channel actually about how I um, how I do illustrations with colored pencils. I use the Faber-Castell Polychromos. So um, yeah, I'm not using them right now, so it's kind of hard to explain. So if you want like a visual representation of it, um, there's a whole video on my channel about it. Because that was one of the first mediums I like sort of you know, taught myself to use to like, you know, to, I don't, don't want to say to perfection because obviously it's nothing close to that, but like, it's the first medium I really got into, like, really got into. This man, look at him. Yes. How about we give him eyebrows? <laughs> Here we go. And while I'm here, I'll just start adding like the little fine liner details to his eyes and stuff. Should have something for his lips. Lippies. <laughs> I give him big peckers. I know. I just can't control myself. I just love giving my characters big lips. Even though he's not my character, but you know what I mean. Um, how are you today? Hi, Moonchild Art. I'm doing great. Thank you. How are you? How's your mental health lately? It's been quite good, actually. Um... I did have like a kind of a big panic attack recently, but managed to, you know, do my self care stuff and, and feel a bit better pretty quick. So yeah, it's actually not been bad. Um, and I've been alone this entire week. Um, uh, Devin's been at home visiting their dad. So like, yeah, oh my God, I think I made him look too pretty. Where's my acrylograph? Uh, where is it? There it is. Um, what have you been up to? Um, today I was uh, pretty much doing restocks for the shop. So I restocked a lot of the nostalgia sticker packs, sticker sheets, what else? Prints actually. I restocked some prints that have been out of stock for a while now. And I finally managed to have, find some time to restock them. So. Yeah, I've been working on that and simultaneously packaging some shop orders. 
I also managed to just edit a video for a little bit as well that I'm working on. So just lots of lots of good things. Working on lots of things. What have you guys been up to today? On this lovely Friday. Your sketchbook cover is amazing. Loved it a lot. Thank you so much, Alina123. Thank you. There we go. It's a little easier. Is it? I don't know. How's the lighting, you guys? You tell me. Oh. <laughs> Definitely not like that. Um. I just got my Archer Nola sketchbook. Oh my god, Saturn is far. Thank you so much. I'm so excited for you. That's so exciting. Nothing like getting an Archer and Olive package in the mail, honestly. It's just. looks like a prince and I love I'm sorry correction he is a prince my bad Sorry about my cough, guys. I don't have COVID. I've been checking. I've been home from school. I've been watching Jane the Virgin and cleaned and uh, been way too much on TikTok. Oh my God, taste. Jane the Virgin's really good. I binge watched it last year. It's very, very good. Um, definitely not what I was expecting when I, I first got recommended it. I thought it was, I was going to watch like a crappy sitcom thing or something from... C CW, but it's actually really good. Um, and is there is there such a thing as being too much on TikTok? Come on, if there is, I definitely fit in that in that category. <laughs> And now I'm just gonna add some more details to his hair and then I should be pretty much it for Tomioka. I, his design is already quite complicated so I don't wanna add too much and make him look weird. So, um, let's go in. Have you watched Stranger Things? Alina keeps asking. Um, is that Stranger Things? Yeah, I've seen like the first season, I think. What size do you usually get your sketchbooks? Um, I usually get them either A5 or if possible, I, uh, I always try to go for a nice square A4 sketchbook. Um, I just really love A4 square sketchbooks. They're just like perfect. And that is like 21 centimeters by 21 centimeters. Um, I can't tell you what that is in inches, I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's my favorite size. It's just like good for, you know, cause like it still fits in your bag nicely and it like, it's really good. You can do any sort of, you know, big de and also very detailed drawings in it without compromising any, huh? 
How do I say that? Yeah, you can just do like really tiny drawings or, you know, detailed drawings without compromising any of the details and stuff. So that's why I really enjoy carrying around a nice big sketchbook. Are you team Michael or team Raphael? Well, I don't know how far you've gotten in the show, so I don't want to spoil anything for you, but I was always team Michael. He came out so good, thank you. I'm really happy with how it turned out too. He looked real handsome. Um, I'm sorry if there's a bit of a glare from my lamp, but we're gonna have to deal with it because otherwise I'm drawing in the dark, so. I would get out the ring light, but I, I just can't be asked. Sorry, guys. It's all the way across the room in my very big room. But yeah, I think we're going to move over to our good boy, Yamaguchi. Uh, next. And... I just really wanted to add some little pointy details to his hair here. There we go. Here he is. Beautiful boy. Tumioka. Looking good. Looking gorge. And now for Yamaguchi. <gasps> can see the light ring through the mirror gosh I did just I did just shoot myself in the foot and then it's right there <laughs> it's all the way over there <clears throat> I think it's eight by eight inches yeah I think you're right Lizzie with tea. normally a four square sketchbooks are eight, I think it's eight by eight inches and then that's my personal favorite um <clears throat> size sketchbook All right we need to get the perfect color for gucci's hair which i think is pretty much the color that i used for tomioka's thing actually this 51 color so i think i'm gonna stick with it and he's wearing a, a hoodie let's make it a, a yellow hoodie let's let's create a sort of a color story here shall we i want to make him sort of match you know, you a little bit. And, um, also the yellow hoodie kind of reminds me of, um, Tsukishima's hoodie in the show, so, boyfriends! Ah! Sorry, that was my alarm uh, reminding me to post on Instagram. Um, <clears throat> yellow sunshine, yes, he's our good boy, isn't he? Um, his hair's not gonna stay this, 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 you know, green. I'm gonna add like an overlay onto it so it's a little darker. But this is sort of the darkest sort of. Um, 
green that I can match to his hair, but, you know, just drives the point home that it's our boy, our little sunshine boy. Plus, his hair color in the time skip is so adorable, too. I don't know. I just think he's so precious. Love to see it. <clears throat> Who's the second drawing? It is Yamaguchi from Haikyuu. Oh my god, I just ordered the items from your collab with Archer and all. I'm so excited. Oh my god, thank you, Nicole! Tenten! I'm so excited for you to get them. I'm honestly so excited about the whole collab thing, and I'm just in awe about, like, with the, from the support, honestly. It's just crazy. Ooh, thanks, guys. <laughs> I found a keychain of him on the side by my house the other day. Oh, that's so cute. You found a random a little baby Yamaguchi on the street and you cleaned him? That's a beautiful story. That's so cute. How, how, like, how lucky you just found him. I'm definitely gonna do a live stream with your sketchbook. Stop! I'm gonna cry, Tina! Thank you! <laughs> oh, you guys. It's so weird that it's like, you know, happening now because I've obviously been working on this for so long and it's always just been kind of like the concept in my brain and, and then and then I saw the, the sketchbook samples in like in real life and I was like, oh my god they're a real thing like an actual item and now like people are buying them and getting them themselves and it's just, it just seems so wild it's so cool <clears throat> the green is giving me joker vibes i guess yeah but yamaguchi is definitely much nicer Um, I always forget that the chisel tip on my on this pen is like run out. I need to buy a restock for this color because it's like my go-to base color for like light skin colors. Um that I always and now it's running out on the other tip too so I guess I'm gonna have to oh, I'm gonna have to finally say goodbye to color 29 of my first Ohuhu set F's in the chat for color color 29 of my first ever Ohuhu set we're gonna have to restock that baby real quick Which markers do you use? I use the Ohuhu art markers. Um, there we go. This one I can use a chisel tip with too. <laughs> um, Yamaguchi looks so good in your style. Thank you. I love drawing Yamaguchi. Um, he's such a little ray of sunshine and 
like whenever you're drawing you have to draw them doing a big old cheeky smile with you know rosy cheeks and all so I just love drawing him it just looks it's just such a happy moment drawing this good boy And I'm gonna start adding in the little rosy cheeks in here and blending those out. I might even go in with a little pencil actually later on and add a real proper blush because I think that'll look cute. Um, for how much longer will you be live? I got to go, but I want to be back later. Um, I think I'll be live for maybe like another half hour. Um, I just have to finish Yamaguchi and then we're doing just this cute little drawing of, um, Mikey and then that'll be it. But I will be uploading the VOD of this on my YouTube channel. So it's okay if you don't catch the end of it, you can just rewatch it later. Looking for you. Oh. Um, do they come with a blending brush? Yeah, they do. I, I don't usually use the blending brushes. I like just blending the colors with themselves, but it does come with a blending pen or blending brush, depending on whether you buy a brush, um, a brush pen set or the normal chisel and, um, fine tip ones. But yeah, they do come with the, the blending bit. Just gonna blend these out. Gotta go. Have a lovely rest of the stream. Love that you streamed again. Bye, Sim Sim. Thanks for joining us. Hello, Imalina99. Thanks for joining us. At this moment, I draw while I listen and watch your live. Aww. What are you drawing, Slulu? Um, Saturn's Paw asked, um, do you think you'll join Inktober slash Drawloween this year? Uh, I just mentioned this earlier. I'm gonna be doing, um, Tina's, um, I'm a Wonders uh, in, like, like October prompt list. So that's the one I'm going to be doing. I'm so glad to finally catch your stream. How's the drawing going? Thanks, Emelina99. It's going good. We've so far drawn Gyu Tomioka from Demon Slayer and currently I'm drawing um, Yamaguchi from Haikyuu and it's going nice. It's going fun. It's so fun. We're having a good time. It's all good. Um... And I haven't streamed in so long, so I was a bit nervous that I would be, like, huh, really bad at it. Not to imply that I was ever good at it. I, I feel like I've always been a big old mess when it came to streaming. I just... There was always some sort of technical problem. <laughs> but I thought it would be a colossal, um, you know, disaster since it's been so long. But I think, I think we're doing good, boys. I think we're getting it. 
so yeah and thanks for everyone for being so supportive and being here even though it's been so long um I, I always have so much fun when I stream um, on Twitch, and I always am like, damn, I should do this more. You guys make it so much fun. I don't know if it's like this like for many, you know, artists and creators, but like doing YouTube and streaming are very different things. Like streaming live is very daunting. You'd think you'd like, you'd think that people who post content on the internet are quite, you know, comfortable with being on camera and stuff like that and you know being entertaining but I'm very much not like that I really just enjoy the the fact that I can edit myself in YouTube and I feel like I have a lot of control over what I'm putting out on YouTube so streaming live is always very scary for me because I just never know what kind of stupid stuff I'm gonna accidentally say so yeah <clears throat> So that's why I always have this sort of like idea in my head that um, streaming is scary, but but then every time I stream, I'm like, this isn't so bad. It's actually fun. Little cheekies for my little sunshine boy. I'm trying to finish six fan art challenge, so I draw a lot of characters right now. Oh, that's nice. Which one are you working on at the moment? I'm, st I'm planning to start, but I'm too shy. Don't know how to start. Honestly, there's no better way than to just do it once and then, you know, learn from, from that and then do it again and then learn from that. There's, I think it's the, the only way. You just gotta dive right in. Um... I know it's easier said than done, but, you know, just gotta, Ooh. same with drawing, exactly. There's no proper way to start, there's just starting and going from there. Can you please recommend me markers aside from the Ohuhu ones? Uh, I don't. I've never really used any other markers besides my Ohuhu ones, so I, I don't think I'm the right person to ask that. Sorry. Um. Yeah, I always just use my Ohuhu markers. They're my faves. So. Is it just me uh, who has comfort YouTubers, like comfort characters? Oh, Piper, you're one of mine. Oh, that melts my heart. Thank you so much, Lizard with Tea. That's so sweet of you. Um, hello, Agus03. Thanks for joining. And that, right guys, is the daily ice cream truck that lives across the street from me that just announces its return from work every day <laughs> there's a guy with an ice cream truck that just lives in front of me and it's god he just he just arrives every day back from work and he's like i have delivered ice cream to the youths today how is everyone doing <laughs> 
And um, I always find it really funny. He's been an absolute lad. Oh, you guys, I, saw, I, I made a friend today. It was so nice. Um, I went up to the roof to do some reading while it was really sunny out. And I actually met one of my neighbors. And I'm not really, like, very good at making friends or interacting with people. But she started up a conversation with me, which was nice. And apparently she just moved into the building, like, on Monday. So she doesn't really know anyone here yet. And I was just like, oh my god, that's so crazy like i've obviously been here for like a year or so but i'm not really friends with any of my neighbors and she was just so nice and we were just like chatting in the sun it was really cool and i made a friend you guys how crazy yeah she's so nice um yeah i just i just i felt really grown up making friends and things and, and getting coming out of my shell a little bit I'm really bad at like socializing, especially when I'm alone. Like, I just I'm really bad at maintaining conversations with humans. I didn't I don't know. The, the pandemic definitely didn't help my already like introvertedness and my social anxiety. So I was just like, oh god, oh my god, she's talking to me. <clears throat> I try to sketch the idea for William James Moriarty. <laughs> I haven't seen it now. Katana art. You, yes! It's him. Oh, thanks, Carol Lily. When I was a little lad. Please tell me someone gets this. Yeah. I think that in this live there are really good vibes. I just feel so comfortable. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Yes, Ria Mule 080. Zero, 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 zero. I'm really glad. I always try to make the live streams a really, really, you know, comfy, relaxing vibes um, so that everyone can draw along, relax, and wind, talk about whatever we want. Um, I'm glad to hear that it works. We draw the good smiley sunshine boys as we chill. Is that a Yamaguchi? It sure is, F Margarita. It's our good boy. Adorable, thank you. Um, what's your zodiac sign? I'm an Aquarius. Well, the lost brain cell, I'm a Leo. My birthday was um, exactly a month ago. Uh, well, almost exactly. It was on the 18th of August. Socializing is always so scary. Oh my God, tell me about it. Blue orchids, CR, it is so scary. Not Piper talking to her favorite characters like dogs. Yes, I do baby voice with my favorite characters because they are baby. Look at this good boy. <laughs> yeah, I, I realize I do that. and it, Yeah, I, I don't think I do that with people in real life, thankfully, but um, I do do that with my, with my sweet anime voice, my faves. Oh, look at this boy. So what's everyone up to this weekend? Is anyone doing anything? I know that some of you are in state quarantines and whatever, so that sucks. But like, you can do virtual things. I'm having a virtual party tonight with some of my friends from back home in Portugal. So I'm very excited for that. Um, we're just gonna 
have drinks, talk about life, and they're with my two best friends from back home, so I'm just gonna be, you know, we're just gonna be catching up, pretty much, and telling each other how our past few weeks have been, which is nice. I do miss them a lot when I'm over here in the UK, so it'll be nice to see them even if it's through a screen today. I'm probably just stuck with uni work. Oh, F. Emelina. I hope, I hope you get some time to rest this weekend still. Mm. You too, Yazu Yamil. I, I, it's good to study, but remember to rest. Mmm! Alanis the Giraffe is going to fin try finishing products for their shop update. Drop it, drop, drop the shop in the chat, man. Get the clout. What's your shop? Going camping with my family. Oh, that's fun! I don't- I haven't been camping with my family ever. That's, that seems like it would be a bit of a nightmare, to be honest, but... That sounds really nice. I haven't really been camping much, like, ever, to the, now that I think about it. I think I, I'd like to go camping more. I, got, I only did, like, camping for school and stuff like that, you know? Um, and for any British people out there, I did Duke of Edinburgh, so that's pretty much all of my camping experience. <laughs> Is doing the um, Duke of Edinburgh bronze and silver, so... Yeah, just living off the land for two days. I'm joking. Obviously, we we had ramen noodles <laughs> on a little camp stove, and then years later, it has inspired my campsite area on my Animal Crossing. So you know, all things have a purpose in our lives, guys. Don't ever forget. <laughs> Just my little boy. I love him. Smile, boy. Um, I need a bit of a darker color to deepen these shadows. I'm gonna go BR three. Oh God, it's gotten dark since we started. The sun really said bye, hasn't it? I just show your drawings to my mom. Oh, sweet. <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> I'm still a baby shop, so no hate. Oh no, absolutely no hate on this on this stream, regardless of what you do and who you are. So everyone go be supportive to Alanis the giraffe. Gotta go, keep having fun. Bye, Blue Orchids DR. Thanks for joining us. Ooh, Saturn Spa is also dropping their shop go go support both these people these lovely people on etsy guys i'll, I'll go check them out after the stream i don't want to like you know get distracted but i gotta head out but have a great rest of the stream girl the the, <laughs> the good boys look great thank you so much for joining us tina bye bye have a good evening um right let's finish up this yamaguchi boy and then finish off with a little cute Manjiro Sano and and then this girl needs dinner because she's hungry I'm gonna give him some rosy lips just to kind of show that he has lips I forgot to sh shade those in so there we go. There we go, Pepe. Oh, I completely forgot. I wanted to add like some sort of like highlights to their hair. Where did I put? Gosh, I keep losing my pens. <laughs> oh, here it is. I want to add a little bit of a highlight. Ooh, too much highlight. Just a bit of highlight on their hair, just like this. Just to liven it up a little bit. And while I'm here, I'll just add some shinies. 
to and fix his teeth because I accidentally made them brown. Um, yeah. Here we go. Add some highlights to his hoodie too. Why not? He looks so happy! And I'm happy that he's happy! <laughs> Look at his good boy. I'm gonna add some of these highlights to Gyu's hair too, because his hair is so dark. I think that adding little shadows like this kind of gives it a bit more dimension and volume, or at least like differentiates different strands of hair and stuff. And on dark hair, that's, you know, it's very helpful. There you go. Just something like this. Um, so yeah, that's Yamaguchi done, the sweet boy. Actually, no, not done. Sorry, I forgot to do the outline on his hoodie. Um, and then we're just going to do Mikey over there at the top. A little cute boy Mikey from Tokyo Revengers. Which is actually another show that I've been watching recently. I've been casually watching it. Like, um, all the episodes, uh, there's still episodes coming out from the newest season. Or, no, it's still season one, I'm pretty sure. But it's part two of season one. So, been casually watching it, like all the new episodes. I know there's like a bit of drama associated with it, but yeah. Um, I've read up on the stuff, um, and yeah, I mean, the show's pretty entertaining, so. And I kind of got attached to the characters now, so. Here we are, another anime that I have watched, <laughs> or am currently watching. Alright, now Yamaguchi's pretty much done. And I'm gonna go up here and draw Mikey. Mikey, Mikey. Um, I'm gonna try going with 36 this time. See if that works better. Where did I put it? Uh, is it still out? Yes. Let me just test out the color. Yeah, it's less orange, but I want to use this for the hair. Gosh, why did my favorite color have to run out? Okay, maybe it has a little bit left. Just for just for my, my boy here. Come on. Come on, 29 is making a comeback. Just for, just for Mikey. Come on. Just a little. Alright. That's good enough, I guess. Because <laughs> um, I want to use the 36 color for his hair. Because he's got like very um, very light blonde hair. Um, and I don't want it to like get all mixed up with his skin on his face. So yeah, guys. This is um, Mikey from Tokyo Revengers. And this is probably one of my favorite like screen caps from season one. He's so baby and adorable. Um, so I just thought I, it'd be a nice sort of filler for this part of the page. I didn't really know what else I could fit in here, but I just thought of my, Mikey just came to me in a dream and I was like, you know what? You're right. You should draw him. Um, and then, where's my thing? Here. <laughs> what did you use for the white shine in their hair? Ooh, one of my favorite things of all time, my Archer and Olive Acrylograph. So, here you go. It's Archer and Olive Acrylograph in white, and it's the 0.7 millimeter one. And I use these a lot for drawing because it's, it's like a paint pen, so it's very, very opaque, and it'll draw on top of anything, and it's perfect for doing, like, those... No! Wrong color. No! Oh, no. This is a... Okay, this is fine. Yeah, so they're perfect for doing, like, last-minute touches and highlights, like, really intense highlights and stuff like that, so...
God, that could have gone disastrously wrong. Imagine if I would picked up like a really, really wrong color. That's oof, happened so many times already. And it is so devastating every time. I just bought you Archer and all of Sketchbook. Thank you so much, Lucy2211. I'm really excited for you to get it. Thank you for supporting the collaboration. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm honestly so overwhelmed by the feedback and like the support that you guys have given on this like project. It's it's really warming my heart. Thank you. Hello, first time watching your stream here. Hi, Blue Pizzy. We're actually you know, almost done here, unfortunately, but you can watch the, um, <clears throat> sorry about it. You could definitely watch the VOD, um, and I'll be uploading this on YouTube, so you can definitely rewatch it on there, too, if you'd like. I really enjoy the way they draw hair on that show as well. They're all quite noodly and I don't know. It's a, it's it's quite stylized and I really enjoy that. Also actually just the whole character designs of the show are quite stylized. Um not just the hair. It's pretty cool. So if you you've seen if you've seen Tokyo Avengers, you know what I'm talking about. Like especially Mikey's hair is very like too many pens in the room. Um, it's very like noodly and kind of just very roundish and it's cute. I just finished my dino. Oh my gosh, exciting. That was fast. What did you get for sending? Yes, please send a picture to me on Instagram. I'd love to see it. Thank you. I'm excited to see this, this crochet dino. Your Tomioka is so. <laughs> exclamation points no words i love him thank you i love him so much too oh I'm losing pens uh where's my pencil there we go that's a little mikey coon and um these are the boys I was gonna color in all these little bits and bobs, but I'm getting quite hungry, you guys. So I think I'm gonna end the stream here. Um, let me just zoom out so you can see these good boys. Um, there we go. Gotta get that money shot at the end. Yeah. Oh, I'm a mess. Yeah, thanks for joining me, you guys. Thank you for always being really lovely company. Um, I'll fill in all these little like cutesy, you know, details and stuff on the page and I'll post it on my Instagram so you can see <laughs> all those characters chubby cheeks are very cute they are right that's the scene where he's eating and he's like mm, it's very cute all right guys thank you so much for joining um I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your evening or whatever it is where it is where you are so yeah I'll definitely try to do more of these in the future bye bye guys <laughs>